Hello, Miles Maeda here with more Modern Yoga Movement videos for you. In this sequence, we will be focusing on the myofascial core. What we'll do is bring our awareness to its function in how it stabilizes our postures and movements. So it is a deep inner lift, and we're thinking of the core as the center of the body. So this goes from the feet up through the top of the head. You can imagine that we're going from the arches up the inner leg, utilizing the pelvic floor, the deep abdominal muscles, all those stabilizing muscles along the spine up through the throat. This sequence is a little different than previous ones because there's a lot of exercises we'll be doing so that we can practice safely. Uh, we'll be employing the deep front line in a standing balance posture, tree pose, as well as in an inverted balance posture, headstand. So for this first part, we're going to be using a block. If you don't have a block, it's okay. You don't need one, but it can be useful. So we're going to lie on our back. So sit with your legs out in front, hands behind the knees, and sit up tall right on top of the sits bones. And here you can feel already a lift of the pelvic floor, a lift of the spine. Inhale, draw the legs together. And on the exhale, start to roll back. Keep the feeling of the lift as you slide the feet on the floor and slowly come down. Elbows, excuse me, shoulders relax on the floor, head relaxes on the floor, and you can hug your knees into your chest. All right, place the feet flat on the floor. And first, let us become aware of the action of engaging the deep front line. So your feet are about hip width apart, and you want your pelvis to be relatively neutral. So to, we don't want the tail tucking up too much, and we don't want a big arch in our lumbar spine, our lower back. So you can lift up your pelvis and then place it back down and feel that it's resting on the sacrum. And inhale here. And on the exhale, see if you can draw the sits bones towards each other. It's more a sensation than an action. And lift your pelvic floor. Inhale, release. Let's do that again. On the exhale, imagine drawing the sits bones towards each other and lifting the pelvic floor. So this is one of the actions to find your myofascial core. Now we're also using the deep abdominal muscles. So the next time we exhale, we're gonna make the sound sh, sh, and we're gonna squeeze all the breath out and feel like we have a corset around the abdominals and it's squeezing in towards the center, towards the spine in all directions. And we'll hold that engagement while we breathe. Okay, inhale. Keep the engagement of those deep abdominals. Inhale. Exhale. So we're breathing in to the ribs, to the lungs, but keeping this feeling of a corset, this engagement of our deep abdominal muscles. And relax. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. So we're still drawing the sits bones towards each other, lifting the pelvic floor. Squeezing. And when you inhale, keep them engaged. And just breathe and feel what it's like to have this engagement. And then relax. Okay, here's where the block comes in handy. <laughs> You're going to place the block between the legs and you can pick whichever position the block feels most comfortable. We want to lightly hold the block. We don't want to squeeze too hard. So there's just a very gentle pull of the heels towards the sits bones, 
holding the block in place, so a gentle engagement of the inner thighs, the adductor group. And let's inhale. Keep those deep abdominals engaged. Inhale. And on the exhale, stretch your arms and roll the head and shoulders up. And do long, deep breathing here. So we inhale, lifting the pelvic floor. Exhale, lifting the shoulders off the floor, crown of the head towards the ceiling. Keep breathing. Extend the elbows, reach through your fingers. There's still just a gentle pull with the heels and holding the block in place. You can feel a lift up the front of the body and energy flowing down the back of the body. Let's just do a couple more breaths. Let the shoulders come down from your ears, having a nice long neck. Inhale. And on the exhale, let's roll down one vertebra at a time and relax. You can modify the breathing. You can actually do breath of fire or you can even pump the arms and make it uh, more a Pilates exercise. Now you can repeat with the knees bent or you can challenge yourself and lift the legs to 90 degrees or even 60 degrees. And for this, I change the block so it's a little uh, smaller. The legs can come closer together. Bring the legs up if you're gonna go further and extend. So this is 90 degrees, I'm gonna do 60 degrees. So remember everything we've done before, inhale, exhale, and inhale. Keep that engagement of the deep abdominals, and exhale, roll up, and long deep breathing here. So reaching through the toes, holding the block in place without squeezing it too hard. Feeling a lifting of the pelvic floor, engagement of the deep abdominals. Ideally, the shoulder blades are just off the floor. We're lifting from the back of the head, top of the head, reaching towards the ceiling. So it'll help to reach through the fingers, extend the elbows, and reach through your toes, extend the knees. Just a few more breaths. And as you breathe, try not to push the belly up, but more breathe into the sides of the ribs. And one more breath, inhale. And on the exhale, you can lower your feet, lower the spine, one vertebra at a time. And here we can remove our block. Let's hug the knees into the chest. You can hold behind the knees and squeeze. Now we're gonna roll like a ball. So feel the engagement of our myofascial core, inhale. And on the exhale, roll the head and shoulders up. And it will help if you can keep your forehead or your nose close to your knees. Just start to kick your feet and rock and roll on the back. So we're rolling to the shoulders and then eventually balancing on the sits bones and tail. Let's do that a few times. And you'll feel those deep abdominals working to balance, control your movement. And last one, if you want to challenge yourself further, let the hands float in front of the knees and rock back just to the shoulders and balance. Let's do that a few times. And again, it's easier to roll if you keep your head, your forehead, your nose close to the knees. Okay, last variation, extend your arms and legs, then curl and rock back. Let's do that a few times. So we inhale, exhale, roll back onto the shoulders, balance. Let's do two more and roll back. Here's the last one, inhaling, fully extend, exhale, nice curl, keeping our myofascial core engaged. And to finish, you place the feet on the floor, 
Bring your forehead to your knees, stretching the spine. And roll up. Okay, the last exercise we'll do is on the hands and knees. You can carefully roll over the feet. And hands under your shoulders on all fours. And extend one leg and then extend the other. So we're in a plank position. And here is a good core stabilizing posture. Instead of the heels coming forward, press the heels back. So we extend the legs, extend the arms, pressing down on the floor, and spread your arms wide, spread your shoulders wide. Here, feel a lift flowing energy up the front of the body, and feel energy flowing down the back of the body. That will help your heels feel like they're reaching back. And we're engaging our myofascial core, lift the pelvic floor, engage the deep abdominals, lifting through the throat. Inhale here, and exhale, carefully lower the knees, and relax the tops of the feet. So your hips should be a little bit forward of the knees here, and in this position, we are stabilizing the shoulders. So shoulders are wide, spread your shoulder blades away from your spine, and then when we travel back, let's bring the hips so they're right over the knees, and this is more for stabilizing the spine and the back. So we can inhale, go forward, feel that we're putting more weight on the shoulders and arms, and travel back, and we're lessening the weight, more stabilizing the spine. Forward, and back, just nice and easy. Forward, and back. Now to further stabilize and work with those little muscles that are connecting the vertebral bodies of the spine. Let's bring our elbows to the floor, keeping a relatively straight back, lengthen the spine, and come up. So less weight on the arms and shoulders, down and up. So we're here we're encouraging those muscles to work, stabilizing the spine, strengthening the back. And one more time, down and up. And now let's go forward, use our triceps, come down, pelvis goes back, elbows on the floor, and come up. So we're completing the sequence, come forward, start to bend the elbows, shoulders to the floor, and up. Let's do that a couple more times, inhale forward, exhale so it's like a push-up, stabilizing the spine, and up. Last one, forward, down, back. And here we come into child's pose, taking a little rest, resting the forehead on the floor, long, deep breathing. Draw the knees together, inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna roll up one vertebra at a time. And that completes this sequence.